Bangs. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me here today. So today I decided to recreate this look that you guys requested and it is from the It Cosmetics Naturally Matte Palette. I'm also trying a different editing technique, so let's hope it comes out good. So my face is already prepped and primed and ready to go. Eyebrows done, foundation, eye primer, you know, all that jazz. So the first color that I'm going to lay down all over my eyes is going to be Sheer Joy, which is a light vanilla tone. And I'm going to just place that from the upper brow bone all the way towards my lid. And for transitioning shade, I'm going to use the color called Sunrise, which is a very, very light brown. And just using that with my Sigma E40 blending brush. For a pop or a shadow, I'm going to go ahead and add the color called Sunset. Now this has more of an orangey undertone, so it's going to add a nice pop for our shadow. And I'm just using that with a MAC 224 blending brush. The next color that I'm picking up is this chocolate kind of grayish brown and it's called Java. I'm still using this with a 224 blending brush and I'm going to focus this all the way from the outer part of my crease into the inner fold of my crease. Just onto the fold of my crease, don't go above it. We're going to create a sandwich eye here which is going to add a lot of pop for the center of our lid. Now since we've added a lot of color placement, I just want to go back with the E40 blending brush and just blend all those colors evenly together so we don't have any harsh edges and it looks beautifully blended. Since I decided I wanted to smoke out the outer corners a little bit more, I decided to add this charcoal black which the color is called Noir and I'm just focusing that onto the outer part of my crease. For the center of the lid, I'm going to go in with a color called Transforming Pearl. I'm going to focus this right into the center of my lid. This is pretty much going to make our eyeshadows really pop and make our eyes look larger than they appear. And then for eyeliner, I decided to use the Jordana Cat Eye Liquid Liner and I'm just defining a really, really tight line. I don't want a really thick line just because I want to kind of make it look like I don't have any eyeliner on my eyes. I'm going to use the NARS Larger Than Life Eyeliner. This is a really long wearing eyeliner and I'm going to go ahead and just tight line this underneath my lash line and on my waterline as well. on to the face. I'm going to use the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color called Natural and we are going to highlight girl because in dark circles they need to disappear. Now to set our concealer to prevent from any creasing, we are going to use the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder and we are going to bake that girl because we do not want any creasing and we're going to make it look nice and bright and very smooth underneath the eyes. Then I'm going to use my NYC bronzer in the color called Sunny and I'm going to bronze my face onto my cheekbones, my forehead, underneath my chin, all that jazz here. You know, just watch. So to contour my nose, I just went back with the palette and I used a color called Mocha. It has a great undertone as well, so it's perfect for contouring. And then to highlight our nose, I decided to choose the LA Girl Pro Concealer once again and just blend that out with a beauty blender. So to further sharpen our bronzing, aka contour, I'm going back with the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder and just sharpening out the contour, aka bronzer. And after that, once I let it sit, I'm just going to go ahead and dust off all that product. We do not want it on our face. We want to make sure we dust it off really, really good. To add some color to our cheeks, I am using Max Blush and Margin, which is an oldie but goodie. Then I'm going back with the Sunset Color from the palette and just buffing this right underneath our lash line just to add some nice pop to our shadow. If you have a problem where your eyeliner tends to smudge throughout the day, make sure that you use a black powder that's kind of pulled in the eyeliner and it seals it in for you. Back to basic boo, going back with my true, tried and true L'Oreal telescopic mascara. I just, I can't live without you, I just can't. It's just the love of my life. And then for lashes, I'm using Coco Lashes in the style called Goddess, which are a current favorite as well. 
To get our highlighter nice and popping, I'm going to use the Laura Geller Gilded Honey, which is my favorite honey. I love this highlighter. I just love it. Then for my lips, I'm going to use Max Lip Liner in the color called Hover. This is just my favorite. I cannot go without it. It's, just, it's perfection for me. I love this lip liner. For the perfect nude, I'm going to use no other than Anastasia Beverly Hills Pure Hollywood. I absolutely love this shade and I don't have to worry about touching it up. It is a long wearing liquid lipstick. And I'm going to go back with Hover to shade in my lips. This is going to make our lips look nice and full and very, very fluffy and plump. And to top it all off, to add even more plump to our lips, I'm going to use Max Plush Glass in Ample Pink. This has a slight tingle to it, so it gives a plumping effect. And that's going to be the finished product. I hope you guys love this look. Please remember to give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Comment down below, and if you are new to my channel, please subscribe. I love you guys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!